To whom might I ask am I speaking? I'm Evie. Evie? Evie. Hey, good Sunday morning, everybody. Jeff Dine. And that is a quick clip from V from Vendetta. And the character's name that Natalie Portman plays is E.V. And that's what we're going to be talking about, the exciting world of E.V. But I promise you, I will not make it boring and we'll go through it quick. And then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of why Christopher Mitchell is not a human being. He's a reptile, he's a parasite, he's a leech, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to call him. All right. While I was making this video, I saw... Um, Willie. All right, and I'm not even going to put his clips in here. Um, he was, his testimonial was right before the uh, casino shut down, and apparently he went back with his wife. And I think all the testimonials since um, the hotels have reopened pretty much, except for the Lucy one, have been fake. Um, and, uh, this one wasn't, and it, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit because he seems like a nice guy. His wife seems like a nice woman, you know, and, uh, and, uh, you just, you can't save everybody, you know, you can't save everybody. And, you know, I know the math and then the martingale says that you're gonna, you're gonna win a bunch of times and then you're gonna lose it all plus some. And I, I, I hope that doesn't happen for Willie. I really, I really hope that doesn't happen for him. I'll say that. If the math is going to, if he's going to be on the other side of variance, I want him and me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> like, I like the variance to, to go uh, in the positive direction for myself as well. All right. So. By the way, I'm wearing backup glasses, so I've been I've been sick for a week and a half, and um, I broke my glasses last night, so it hasn't been the greatest week and a half. I couldn't sleep last night. It is what it is. Cry me a river, right? First world problems. So hopefully, I could read what I wrote, but here. So what is expected value, otherwise known as EV? So in betting, the expected value is the measure of a, what a better can expect to win or lose per bet placed on the same odds time and time again. Positive expected value plus EV implies profit over time, while a negative value minus EV implies a loss over time. Expected value is one of the most important concepts in gambling to understand, especially if you have aspirations of being a professional gambler of any kind. When you have a positive expected value, plus EV, you have the best of it. On the other hand, when you have a negative expected value, you have the worst of it. Odds are in your favor when you're plus EV, Odds are not in your favor when you're minus EV, okay? Professional gamblers try to only put their money into action when they have the best of it. Positive expected value. In some cases, they could be wrong about whether the bet they're making is positive or negative expectation. But if they're right often enough, they'll make profit in the long run, okay? When you talk about the long run... You're talking about getting through variance. The more you play, the less that variance, which means if I have a coin and I flip it 20 times, right? It's supposed to be heads and tails are 50-50. Am I going to get 10 tails and 10 heads? Probably not. Not after 20. But after a million after a billion, the law of large numbers, that variance, the more volume I can put in, that variance gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, and the actual probabilities will come down to where they should be, the more and more volume you put in. So a professional gambler is going to want to 
put in as much volume as possible when he is positive EV because the variance in the short, short term could run the other way. He could be 55% you know, to win and still lose. So the vol- it's all about volume to get through the variance to actually get to your expected value. Uh, Other gamblers, those with the worst of it, will eventually lose all their money if they keep playing. That's just how the math behind probability works, right? So Christopher Mitchell's system is a negative EV system. And it doesn't matter if he jumps casino to casino, whatever he does, eventually it will catch up to him and he'll lose it all. And this has happened before. If a gambler has an edge, whether that be in card game, in a card game, or in sports betting, or anything else, the better is going to put as much volume as possible to decrease variance and get into the long run, just like what I just said. The gambler must be disciplined and take into consideration their focus if they are tired and other factors that could cut into their edge over time. So there is, you know, uh, diminishing results. If you have an edge, but you're getting tired, your mind's not working, things like that, we're not robots, right? If we're a robot and we have an edge and we don't get tired or whatnot, we'll play forever. But human beings, we get, we get hungry, we get tired, you know, we have to maintain our bodies, whatever. I'm diabetic, I got to check my blood sugar, things like that, okay? So even if we have the edge, sometimes we have to take a break. But this is the opposite of Christopher Mitchell. And that's why he's not a professional gambler. Christopher Mitchell is playing a negative expectation game. Baccarat, the EV on that is about 1% to the house, right? So every $100 bet, the house can, over the long run, consider to make $1, okay? So it's a negative expectation game. All those games, all those games, there's not going to be a carnival game that's going to be created that's not going to be negative expectation. And even with optimal strategy, like with Ultimate Texas Hold'em or these other games that you see, even if you play them perfectly, optimal strategy. The only reason they're on the floor is because they're negative expectation. The casino's not going to put something out there that's positive expectation. A big, what, what's a big uh, ex, uh, exception in that would be blackjack, right? Blackjack, the card counters, the MIT team, you know, they were able to take advantage of that, count the cards, find the times where they had the expected value in their favor, put their bets up, you know, bet as many sides as they can. If they were betting one at minimum, at the minimum uh, table uh, limit, and then they all of a sudden had a huge, huge advantage and were able to bet three hands at the table max, they would do so. Now, why do the casinos allow blackjack, a game that technically can be beaten, because they've done all kinds of things. They are able, they, you know, they kick out the card counters. There's less penetration in the decks. All these things, getting rid of three to two tables, six to five. It's made it much, much more difficult. Much, much more difficult. But all these other games, all these other games are, are negative expected value. And Blackjack, if you sit down and you flat bet and you play perfect, perfect basic strategy, you are still negative expectation. So Christopher Mitchell is playing a negative expectation game and the system he sells is even more negative expectation. He has no edge. And that's why he spends so little time actually gambling. Um, Considering that the times that he's saying he's gambling are truthful because we know sometimes he's 
being truthful and sometimes he's not. And Christopher, just a quick note, all right, just because you actually are truthful like 5% of the time doesn't mean shit. We know who you are, so shut the hell up about that, honestly. Oh, I, I made money this time, it's real. Oh, I gave away money for the, the, the one time out of 20. This is real. Oh, my money's real. I sent the guy a real Amazon gift card. Shut up, man. Like I said before, it's like if I was a shitty son my whole life, I sent my mother's flowers one time, and I'm like, oh, I'm such a great son. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. And, and that's why we need to have memories. People need to have memories. They can't let him just restart every time with these videos. And until YouTube takes his ass down, which 100% should happen, 100% should happen, and we have to keep doing this crap. We have to keep putting out this stuff and educating the public. And I'm calling what he does caveman thinking, right? Just because he switches casinos doesn't mean the probability of him losing his role decreases. The amount of hands he plays keeps being counted. So he has no understanding of the math and the probability. But he knows that the Martingale can get him. So that's why he doesn't want to sit down for too long. And he's too dumb to know that just by s s switching casinos that the clock the number of hands that he's played in a row that he's, you know, that he's been able to stay safe from the Martingale devil taking all his money, which has happened many times, it doesn't reset. And a lot of, the, a lot of these gambling systems use this kind of caveman thinking. Like somebody might say, go to a roulette table that just had seven blacks in a row and now Martingale, seven reds in a row. Because what are the odds of 14 black coming out in a row? Guys, there is no time machine. It doesn't matter what happened prior to that. You're now looking at the odds of seven black in a row. You can't count the seven black that just happened. Every, every thing is in the every role is independent of the last i'm seeing a lot of this i'm seeing a lot of this i mean i can't tell you and i don't i i, I in a future video i'm going to show some other like there are hundreds of gambling systems the major difference on youtube the major difference between them and christopher mitchell is that christopher mitchell completely misrepresents what he profits and his lifestyle and because he's selling based on a complete misrepresentation that makes it a scam it's still in the gray area but if we can't go after everybody who's who's putting out some kind of bullshit betting strategy video we can't do it but Christopher Mitchell is so shameless, so shameless, and doesn't care about who he hurts, that he's top on, top on the list right now. Top on the list. So here I write, Christopher Mitchell uses the Martingale system because he is a total fraud. Casinos kick out card counters, right? They kick out... Blackjack card counters, and they welcome, they'll roll the red carpet out for those who martingale. It doesn't matter what nonsense he adds or subtracts to the martingale. It is all negative expectation. This is all bullshit, people. Oh, I'm at, I'm tinkering this this oh I, this betting strategy only five martingales. When it comes down to it, he has no edge. All he's got is the martingale. So he can say, if it's choppy, then follow the chop. 
And if it's streaky, follow the streak. Doesn't mean shit. In the end, it comes down to the Martingale. He's got no edge. He's doing what a kindergartner could do. What you, what you did as a, as a kid with friends, and you would bet, and you just keep going double or nothing, double or nothing, double or nothing. And like at one point you may have owed your buddy like 50 bucks when, when you had like, you know, you're in high school and you barely have 10 bucks to your name. You know, and you're like, oh man, I, I hope he, he doesn't make me pay. I hope we can still do this double or nothing, you know. But anyway, Martin Gale will give more small winning days than losing days as long as he is not very unlucky or very greedy and starts with too high a base bet, which he has done. I mean, his base bet now is 100. He's trying to fade five Martingales, I guess, from, from, what, from what I gather. You never know what's, what's fact or fiction. Um, he used to do a $200 base bet. Just absurd. Four Martingales then, if, he, if he's going out there with 3,200, 3,100. Ridiculous. Um, as we've seen over and over, the nights where he gets destroyed and loses all his profit... And uh, and then some some have destroyed his bankroll, and this will happen to anyone who takes his advice. So again, you're gonna have all these small wins, and you're gonna feel great when you have them. And like this is so easy, just double, 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 and as long as I don't lose that five or six in a row. But when you do. You're going to lose everything and more. You're going to lose everything and more. Um, and I just put here, there's a slide. If you're going at, you know, if you're going on to an online casino or you're going to one of these uh, casinos that takes very small bets and you're martingaling with a dollar units, with a stop loss of like two hundred dollars to make twenty bucks, you know what? Enjoy it. You know, you obviously aren't making a living gambling. If that's what you like to do, even though it's negative expectation, uh, negative EV, go ahead, go ahead, have your fun. When we're talking about Christopher Mitchell, he's talking about serious amounts of money, thousands of dollars, you know, money that's going to really make or break most people. And so, you know, if you want to go and Martingale, take your chances with small units, whatever, go ahead, go ahead. But obviously somebody who's doing that's not going to pay Christopher Mitchell a thousand dollars to get coached. So... I am going to play the Beau Rivage, the uh, Beau Rivage clip, 20 seconds, okay? And I got to be careful with the, the length of these clips. As much, I don't even like to watch this reptile anymore, honestly, I don't like to watch him. But you have to understand that this is what is going to happen. It's a fait accompli. That's that's why he's got nothing now. Because he's way too aggressive and way too dumb. And now he has to fake most of his gambling sessions. Now he got this guy Willie to come out, I guess pay him something. Breaks my breaks my freaking heart. But let's just let's just let's look at what happens when you bet with the Martingale. And last night, here at the Beau Rivage and also next door at the Hard Rock Casino, so I lost a total of $17,000 at the Hard Rock Casino. And last night, I lost $19,000 here at the Beau Rivage for a total of $36,000 in less than 24 hours. Okay, so we know he had to say that if you look into prior videos. Or if you look at the Poker Fraud Alert thread, you will see uh, Rick Lee was there and two other, um, two other, I guess, clients. And they all lost 
they, they lost their asses. So he had to make this video. He had to make this video. But anybody who's thinking about using his system, about giving him a penny, watch this video. Watch the video from February where he lost 36 grand in, uh, in Mississippi. What is a scam, right? A fraudulent scheme performed by a dishonest individual group or company in an attempt to obtain money or something else of value. Uh, scams traditionally resided in confidence tricks where an individual would misrepresent themselves as someone with skill or authority. And that's exactly what's going on with Christopher Mitchell. And if you can't see it by now, God bless. God bless. Um, scammer off often make claims about themselves that are complete lies or embellishments to try and gain legitimacy. Scammer will often lie about the success of his progr program to create urgency so people will feel like they are missing out if they don't buy. Uh, the scammer's main, main objective is to enrich themselves without care of the effect on others. And fake testimonials are a ha hallmark. Uh, of a scam. So, fake testimonials. Here you're gathering your information because there's people all over the world who I could help. I could help you get out of debt. Why? Because I don't have any debt. I don't have student loans. I don't have credit cards. I don't have mortgage payments. I don't have car payments. I have zero debt. I'm 100% liquid. These are all real bills. That's the front. That's the back. And again, I'm not showing you all this to brag or boast. I'm simply showing it to inspire you. Because I was dead, broken, homeless. And now I'm rich. And I can teach you how to do it too. But if you... I can't tell you. So if you look here... Scammer will often make claims about themselves that are complete lies or embellishments. Can't tell you how dangerous what he's saying is. And the thing about Christopher Mitchell is he has no, there is no line for him. He will use everything in the book he can. Christianity, whatever. Whatever. He is lower. He is as low as you possibly could be. So when you talk about fake testimonials, a couple of days ago, he had this testimonial with Demetrius that was just, it was just complete horseshit. I mean, I don't even go. You can go back and watch the video. I don't want to waste time on going through it. Obviously, it was completely fake. They didn't even go into the Bellagio. By the way, uh, the speculation is the Bellagio will no longer allow him to buy chips and not play. Because that's what he's basically doing. He's buying chips, maybe playing like a hand or two for like, who knows, 25, 50 bucks. And then, you know, put, filling out those scorecards. By the way, those scorecards, he most likely grabbed a bunch and fill them out at home. They're way too clean. If you're gambling Martingale, you're not going to be keeping that clean of a freaking scorecard. I hate to even say it because now he's going to start making them like more uh, realistic looking or whatnot. But just look at his scorecards. Look at how clean they are. It's total horseshit. And you know, I, I know. I just like. I don't want to go down every rabbit hole. I'm just pointing out like. It's, it's just all bullshit. So this guy, Demetrius, not going to show the clips. It's a new video, like four days old. You can go into it. It was just right away. It was just like, no way. No, no, no. No, this guy's not gambling. He's actually selling for him. You can see him. Not a scam, this and that. He doesn't have any chips to show. Nobody has any chips to show till the end at MGM Grand. Okay? It is pathetic. 
pathetic. So, pick three world. Big time supporter of Christopher Mitchell. All right? And we thought that uh, Christopher Mitchell, Stacy, were given control of that. So Pick3 World is a channel, has about 7,000 subs, where they sell systems to help you pick three or pick four numbers in the lotto. I mean, talk, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say about that. I don't even know what to say about that. But with all this, now we have legitimate proliferation of, of gambling. Lotto's hurting. You could see like the Mega Millions and Powerball, their numbers aren't getting up as high. Um, the pandemic might have something to do with that. But really, it's because people have uh, much better uh, chances at gambling in other ways. And that's why... People are doing that. And they're actually gambling less on horses, which is paramutual wagering, which is also really bad odds. But there's nothing with worse odds than lotto. So having a system, it's just really weird. So what was noticed with Pick 3 World was all of a sudden on that, on that uh, page, there was the picture of this guy here that left a comment on my uh, last video. And it was of an African-American gentleman. And then Demetrius comes up. And Demetrius is an African-American gentleman. And it was a little strange because the way Demetrius spoke, it seemed like they had some kind... This picture was just put on and Demetrius had just had just put in this real, like, just he's selling really hard on this testimonial. But just because the African-American, I didn't, like, you know, it, it would be in bad taste to say they're, they're the same guy. Okay? There, there's, there's my buddy, Mr. Texcom69, commenting. So I didn't, I didn't touch it. I mean, I, I was, it was a little bit weird where is this guy coming from? Why is there a picture right on Pick 3 World? But I'm just going to leave it alone. Then all of a sudden, there was a commenter on Poker Fraud Alert, and he brought up some evidence of there being a connection. And I was like, oh, wow, okay. Okay, something's going on here. I didn't want to just say, okay, you know, because, of the, you know, it's just I don't care about skin color and I didn't want to make, get into that for obvious reasons, okay? It just, it just, I had to just leave it be and I didn't want to speculate. But a forum poster came with some actual evidence that it may be, but still it wasn't like concrete. And then I got pick three, pick three world. Uh, he wrote this comment. I am not Christopher Mitchell. I'm not Stacy. I'm not Demetrius either. Why are you so angry? Why are you reaching? No one has access to my YouTube account. Give me a call if you like to talk. Just because I follow someone on YouTube, which I look at as entertainment. That's not good, man. Doesn't mean I'm that person. Not all adults take YouTube serious. Um, pick three. Big Three World. Um, this is not for entertainment. Christopher Mitchell's ripping off people, vulnerable people. It's not for entertainment purposes. He's selling a product, dog shit. He's selling a negative expectation product that's going to hurt that person in the long run really bad. So... You could look at it as that entertainment, but it isn't. That, what, uh, that YouTube page, Christopher Mitchell, is not there to just entertain. Um, so he says that I'm, uh, you know, I'm not affiliated with CM. I like his positive attitude, how he's a family man, and his marketing skills are amazing. I never 
heard of the game of Bakura before seeing these videos. Okay. Wow. So what do I say to that? I don't even know, right? And then later on, he puts, Jeff, you seem educated. I loved your piece on George Floyd, so I know you have a heart. Why do you really put so much of your life into this soap opera, opera hit me up? So, you know, he's, this is, what do you say to this? What do I say to this, right? i pretty sure it's a trap, you know, saying, hey, you know, it's entertainment. You know, you're a good guy. Don't waste your time on this. I'm not affiliated. Well, I hate to tell you. I don't know how much of this was genuine or not. You may not be Demetrius, but Demetrius seems to certainly be your partner. So again, pick three world. Not affiliated. You want to uh, you want to give away. You donate like a hundred bucks during his uh, giveaways. You're you know him, all right. You know him. Then, my guy, Forum Wars. On poker fraud alert, shot out. He finds it. He finds it. So Demetrius, Georgia Lottery's players comment page. And he writes here, if I or someone in my universe is not pick three world, this would be quite a coincidence. So right here, Demetrius on his Facebook page, Georgia Lottery players comments page. If you have a five dimes account with at least $600, we have a pick four system that's hitting frequently. Hit me up for details. So, the person who commented, not cool, man. Great work, Forum Wars. I, get, I hope everybody sees this. I hope everybody sees this. Clearly a plant. So, what you wrote Pick three world. You may not be Demetrius. Everything points to you being his partner. Okay? Not affiliated. You're just trying to manipulate me. It's not cool. It's really not cool. If you actually did enjoy what I said... On, on, the, on the video with George Floyd. I meant every word of it. But my stance on Christopher Mitchell is not changing. And, I, and we're going to leave it at that. So Forum Wars, he nailed it. There's Demetrius. There he is. And he's... He's picked three. It's him and the other guy. Or if it's just Demetrius and the other guy is just some picture. I don't know. But Demetrius is certainly the pick three, pick four guy. Pick three world guy. And he clearly was a plant. And we're getting sick of it, Chris. We're getting sick of it. I am, or at least really was a teacher, though. I guess you could say I like schemes, too. Bye. Forum Wars. <laughs> you the man. <laughs> All right, so let's get, let's get into Demetrius a little bit further here, and we can connect him right to Christopher Mitchell again, thanks to Forum Wars. Um, I said I like ske schemes. Hurry, we're only accepting four investors in this one. 10% per month. So right down here, he's doing a real estate scam. It's got to be a scam. It has to be a scam. He's telling everybody the investment is 100 k and we will pay you 10% a month on your 100 k
I don't think Bernie Madoff even came close to that. It's unbelievable. Christopher, Demetrius, you lying ass dogs. Man, Forum Wars owns your ass. Really, really bad. Really tasteless. Really tasteless. And right here, on the bottom of that real estate page, it's Christopher Mitchell. Involved in yet another scam. Now he was part of this real estate scam. I mean, the further you go back, the more you find. It's unbelievable. The writing, the 18 Amazon books in, in a year. This real estate thing, 100K will get you 10% a month. Nah, your 100K would have been gone. I hope they didn't get it. I doubt they got anybody. But these two guys definitely know each other. There's Christopher Mitchell right on his page. Demetrius' page. Oh, you just, you just met Demetrius the other day, huh? He paid $1,000 for your one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'm going to try to submit this to YouTube. Because you're clearly... And we have now we have evidence. Thanks to Forum Wars, Poker Fraud Alert. We knew you're lying the whole time. Now we got you. You didn't even change the guy's name. It's unbelievable. And there you go. There's the close up of Christopher Mitchell. My name is Christopher Mitchell. I'm a real estate investor based in Columbus, Ohio. It's unbelievable. It really is. And then last, last week when we had that, again, forum wars, proving that Horseshoe, Horseshoe Casino in Hammond, Indiana, the answer to the trivia question couldn't be written in eight seconds. That's 31 letters. Would have taken um, at least 30 seconds to write. So, I mean, how, mu how much? How much lying is enough? At what point? At what point do we say, that's it? I, it's, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. And uh, here he is. I love this shot. Well, I, I mean, I don't love it, but that MGM Grand Bathroom sitting on the toilet with the chips. Well, it's really amazing. It's really amazing. Throws it down. Do you suck dicks? Sir, no, sir! Are you a Peter Pupper? Sir, no, sir! I bet you're the kind of guy that would fuck a person in the ass and not even have the goddamn common courtesy to give him a reach around. I bet that is the kind of guy Christopher Mitchell is. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Everybody... If you could please like and subscribe, I really appreciate it. Um, doing the best I can right now, uh, getting the content, trying to get the awareness out. And uh, like I said, I, I really appreciate it. Notification bell, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare hit that thing, okay? Life is way too important to wait for one of my videos to come out, all right? I'm still really green at this. I appreciate you guys working with me while I, you know, I try to get better and better and better. And uh, it means so much to me. It really does. 
It, it really does. And, and seeing it just grow, uh, 64 subs or whatever, it, I cherish every single one. Thank you. Thank you for the support. So like I said, like, sub, bell. No bell now, guys. No bell. Life's too important to hit the bell. <laughs> all right? <laughs> I wish you all a wonderful Sunday, and I will talk to you all very soon.